Hello everyone, welcome back to CodingScientist.com. You are watching Cloud IoT on Nano 2040, RP2040 board, right? It's a pretty exciting board and we were able to successfully, you know, do the board manager installation. And I also showed you how to write or, you know, load the Blink program, which is the basic sketch from Arduino, right? So guys, I hope you are ready with the test bed. So in this lesson, we will talk about, I will show you how to access the Wi-Fi aspects. It's got a pretty powerful Wi-Fi, guys. You know, it's, it's not an easy joke. For example, uh, this particular board comes with a module called NINA, NINA Wi-Fi NINA W102 module from a company called U-Blocks, okay, U-Blocks which is basically based upon the popular ESP32 microcontroller. You would have seen my other series on Zero to Hero series, which I, which I, wherein I built about probably about 20, 25 lessons on ESP32 and ESP32 CAM. So that, that particular chip comes with U-Blocks module, Wi-Fi module. So that's, that's the, it's a pretty powerful module, which is, uh, you know, inbuilt into RP2040 uh, uh, connect the board right it provides both wi-fi and bluetooth capabilities for arduino nano rp2040 connect and it is also used to drive the onboard rgb led indicator that's pretty powerful just imagine you know and the most interesting aspects of this wi-fi this module has its own internal antenna if you see this carefully it's a very powerful antenna guys you know you need to understand these things it's very important right it, it and this internal antenna has a maximum wi-fi range of 400 meters almost half a kilometer you can imagine wow such a small device with a embedded antenna it can generate the signal up to 400 meters you know as per the technical specification of course without any blocks and kind of thing so you can imagine the power of what beautiful IOTs and uh, IOT applications and robotics and AI applications you can build accessing through the web far away, almost half a kilometer away. It operates on 2.4 gigahertz band. It's again a powerful proposition. So you guys need to understand these technical aspects. It's very important. So let's move on and I will show you how to install that particular library and we will take it forward from there. It's very important to install those important libraries, right? To access the inbuilt uh, Wi-Fi or else there is no use. You, you just cannot access or you cannot use it at all. There is no point in having this board in hand and, you know, run basic programs. It doesn't help, right? So let's, let's get into some advanced aspects. And I will just open up my IDE. Just give me a second. All right. All right. I hope you guys can see my IDE. Now let's go to tools. Okay. Go to tools. Let me repeat again. Once you open the IDE, you need to go to tools go to manage libraries this particular button manage libraries if you click on that within few seconds this window will open on the bottom you can say updating list so let it be open for a couple of seconds for those of you who have seen my arduino 33 ble sense series that's that's another series which is there go ahead and take a look that's the same kind of exercise we follow right so once you open this you need to type Wi-Fi N-I-N-A dot H. Okay. Let me repeat this again. You need to type Wi-Fi N-I-N-A dot H. This is the library we will be installing. Can you see this? <clears throat> this is the first one. On the top, enables network connection, local and internet with Arduino MKR. 1010 board, Arduino UNO revision, Arduino 33 IoT. This library you can initiate servers, clients, and send receive UDP packet through Wi Fi. Fantastic. The board can connect either to open encrypted networks through WPA, IP address assigned statistically. We can read further if you want. 
I strongly recommend you need to read all this library here. Guys, it's, it's a matter of skills. You need to build the skills, right? Click on that link. It'll route you to this. And to use the library, we need to put hash include spi.h serial port communication. And this is the library we are installing. So you can read about the firmware update and stuff like that. You know, there are a couple of examples. So go ahead and read. I will close it for now. So here you need to click install. I'm going to click install. It's installing. It takes a couple of seconds. There you go. Boom. It says install, right? Successfully installed. So guys, that's, that's it. You are done. Once you install it, you can just close it and leave it as it is. Okay. Now what we need to do, we are going to access more information about this library. We, we There are tons of examples, inbuilt examples, but I am going to uh, write a custom built code to create a web server, right? So once we create a web server, we can access through the web browser and customize the buttons and access the inbuilt IDE, uh, sorry, LEDs. And we can also, you know, uh, uh, attach a couple of other external sensors or motors and stuff like that. So all those things are possible. So I'm going to come back in the next lesson and I will share that code through my GitHub account. You can access my GitHub and take the code and use it and customize it. And however you want, you can do that. I will see you soon. Goodbye.